Okay. Here's the uh, hitch and the tongue put together. Now I wanted you to be able to get a good look at it. You'll see that, um, let me see if I can get my hand in here. That will be, you know, slid into the tongue of the sulky and I'll, I'll show a picture of that whenever it's all put together. It was just easier to see how there's the pivot point. This is the outside clevis that's connected to the uh, tongue of the sulky. And see, it's, it's got enough gap to help prevent pivoting. And I wanted to reinforce it, so I put two sections of, um, of the one-inch pipe inside those bolts to act as spacers and and reinforce that i just didn't feel comfortable putting anything smaller than that and um yeah this is not uh machine shop quality it's um hurry up i want to see if it works type uh type quality work but it will be locked in here because of the tension on the inner clevis against the saddle bar. So it's not gonna go left or right. Uh, the hitch won't. Only the clevis point will, um, will be moving left or right. Here, let me see. There you go. And I hope now, I weigh about 235 pounds, so I hope reinforcing that uh, outer clevis with, the, um, with the, the same pipe that I use for this extension for the tongue, and that will be, you know, slid into the sulky tongue, so that ought to be good and reinforced. So, only this part will be sticking out from um, from the tongue of the sulking. So, okay, that's that's it for now. I've got it made such as it is. It's just um, this is just a, a, a first first attempt, and uh, we'll see how much it pivots when it's all put together.